Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, I did a poll on the community page. Um, who's going to win, Katie Taylor or Amanda, Ser Amanda Serrano? And this is this is the fight that I'm really, really looking forward to. Um, it's on the undercard of the Jake Paul, Mike Tyson thing. Um, and the poll results, they couldn't have been closer. Well, I suppose they could have been. You could have had complete everything being completely even. But the results... And this is after about 300 people who voted, which is, you know, not a great deal of people, but this channel has 5,100 and something subscribers. So 300 people voted, and the results were 51% of people picked Katie to win, 49% of people picked Amanda to win. And, yeah, okay, very, very close. And I think, I think that's not surprising because the first fight – which you, you've probably seen, will be, it was a, a case of, um, you know, the, the hellish fifth round for Katie Taylor, who was chewing punches like they were going out of fashion. Uh, but she somehow survived and she got a boxing together and came back and won. Um, and I think she, you know, I don't have a problem with, with the decision. Some people will say, oh, Amanda was robbed and Jake Paul made, who is very close to Amanda, he made some silly remarks about judges being in the pockets of Eddie Hearn. And that's rubbish, of course. Um, but, um, you know, if you think about it, yeah, I mean, an Amanda win would be um, not surprising at all. I picked Katie to win points, close one. Uh, if you look at the poll that, like I say, 300 people voted, it was 8% who think, Katie will win by KO. 43% think she'll win on points. And those that voted for Amanda, who had 49%, 15% um, thought she'd KO Katie. So it's almost twice as many people who voted for Amanda think that she'll stop Katie to, you know, Katie's 8% of KO prediction. Um, and 34% think Amanda will win on points. Um, like I say, I mean, I'm really looking forward to this. I think the first fight was... Was it the best female fight I've ever seen? There have been a couple that, have, that stick in their mind. This is up there, definitely up there. Um, I, I want to say, what's her name? Uh, Michaela Mayer and Hamadouche from France. That was a hell of a fight. That was about four years ago, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm glad this rematch is happening because I've got nothing but absolute respect for both these women. Um, inside and outside the ring. They both behave in a respectful, um, decent way, you know, a sincerely positive way. There's nothing fake about either of them. And yet in the ring, they're both absolute warriors and have proved it. And, and you have to big up Jake Paul as well. Whatever you think of him, you know, the way he's helped Amanda and the way he supported women's boxing is extremely positive. And, uh, Jake Paul gets a lot of shite talked about him, but um, some of it's probably justified. But at the same time, you know, the, the guy's a very, very good businessman. Um, and when, you know, I, I mean, I, to be honest with you, I, I've never watched a Jake Paul video. I don't know how he's famous. I said this uh, when, when he first came on the scene. I thought, why is he, who is this guy? Why is he famous? Well, he makes, does he make prank videos? I don't know, music videos? What the, I don't know what the it's not my generation I don't really know what he does but when he came along a lot of people were saying oh it's bad for boxing and other people were saying no 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 it gets eyes on boxing it, even Eddie Hearn was saying this and he's currently suing Jake Paul for the comments about the first Serrano Taylor fight uh, and I thought eh, I'm sort of in the middle the jury's out but no I think I think Jake Paul overall has had whatever you think of him he has brought people to boxing as has all that, you know, misfit stuff. I mean, if, you know, people pour scorn on that. And again, with good reason. I, I would, I've never watched a misfit show in my life. I'm astonished that I think Callie Sauerland is the CEO of the Misfits organization or something like that. I mean, this guy's gone from doing those fantastic, you know, world boxing super series, whatever they were called, you know, the one that Usek won and Noya Nue won another and, and um, uh, was it Taylor won one? Josh Taylor one, you know, those fantastic tournament things that lasted for maybe a year. He's gone from doing that to doing misfits. Kelly Salanders. If you're a boxing fan, a hardcore fan, that's a shame, but 
But no, I, you know, let's let's give Joe, let's be let's be fair here. Let's say that Jake Paul has done a fair bit for Amanda Serrano, and the other fighters on the undercard of this this Tyson thing, um, they're getting paid good money, and it is after all prize fighting. It's not like he's, it's not like he's, you know, I mean, he's making a lot of money. I think Paul, Jake Paul is getting about forty million dollars, and Mike Tyson's getting twenty million, and the others, Taylor and Serrano, are getting serious money, and the other fighters are getting well paid. No one's complaining. So I guess you could say, well, who are we to complain? Um, it's not like the UFC, you know, where they get they get paid, you know, well by the standards of someone who's come off a nine to five job, but ultimately they get paid, you know, chicken feed compared to what UFC makes, um, which is why the top UFC people would love to get into boxing because that's where the serious money is, like and Garnu and people like that, McGregor, obviously, but. But yeah, just a few thoughts um, about Taylor Serrano. I'm really looking forward to this fight. Really am. Um, it's over 10 twos. I'm not a fan of two minute rounds at all. I think at the very least it should be 10 threes. I mean, I understand that we, the woman's physiology is obviously different from men's, and therefore you can make a you can make an argument for it being less rounds, but. I'd like to see. I know people say, "Well, the two-minute rounds are more exciting," and I don't. I don't necessarily think that's true. Um, and a lot of people say, "Well, uh, you know, um, I think women's boxing. You know, there aren't enough people, and there aren't enough good fighters. The talent pool isn't that deep. Therefore, do we really want to watch ten threes or even twelve threes? Again, I don't buy that argument. Not really." Um, uh, and I also think that 10 twos favours some fighters tremendously, you know, I mean, because it's a sprint and not a marathon. And the people that that are that are more in the style of what we know to be prof- the professional men's style, professional boxing being very different to amateur boxing, I think those women that have that style, that do need that extra minute to sort of, pick apart the opponent um, that do have better gas tanks, that do hit harder. Um, I think they, there is kind of unfair. 10-2 is just isn't enough time. It's 20 minutes of boxing. And as I always say, that is only two minutes more than a men's six-rounder. So 10-3s might be an interesting compromise. Amanda herself... Amanda Serrano has said she wanted to do 12 threes, but she's only fought once when it was 12 threes. But someone like Sky Nicholson, who is essentially a sort of fencer more than a boxer, she just, instead of using a sword, she uses her arms. Um, nothing against Sky at all. She's very good at what she does, but 10 twos suits her down to the ground, absolutely suits her down to the ground. And you can say, yeah, but it's the same for both women, so who cares? Okay. I just don't think 10 two-minute rounds is enough. Not for a professional world title, you know. It's kind of like the equivalent of women tennis players only doing one set. They compromise and they do three. I think mean, they should do five. I've always thought that, but no, that's, that's a video for a different time. But I don't know. Yeah, you tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Um, I know, you yeah, know, tell me if, if you picked either lady to win, tell me why you're picking them. Um, and also, give me the up on what you think about the, the whole distance thing. 10 2 suit you? 10 threes, 12 threes? Let me know. Let me know what you think. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always for your time. Please, if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button. That would be appreciated. And also, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Because it's free and it takes a second. Don't cost you anything. And you're supporting the channel as well. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll speak again soon. And bye for now. <laughs>